Good morning, folks. Gotta clear up a mistake I made. Two, actually. First, I did not think this hider flare would make a CME. Well, it did. And when I trusted NASA's endless spiral, I proclaimed it would barely miss Earth. Mistake number two. NOAA's endless spiral is now updated and it indeed shows a medium level impact on January 8th. This will probably not cause any damage, although it is set to arrive with the stream from that dark central coronal hole. I've listed a few articles, old and new here. They're primers on methane in the environment. It's leaking in large amounts even when we humans aim to control it. Just yesterday, 40 more seeping points were found off the U.S. East Coast. I've been discussing this for over a year. Methane mass extinctions are no joke, and they have happened before, so those companies can go frack themselves. A mystery disease is ravaging livestock in Pakistan. It presents as respiratory distress and acute death. The numbers are getting worrisome. In China, 9 million residents are cut off from government water supply after 18,000 pounds of a toxic chemical has contaminated that supply. Yesterday's 7.7 .7 quake in Alaska set off a number of buoys in the Pacific, but this line here showed minimal deviation. The largest was way out west around 2 feet. One in the Atlantic went off as well, but there was nothing for concern. The largest, oddly enough, was found in Hawaii, but it's kind of tough to believe that there were 40 meter swings in the span of minutes. This could be error. Today's top weather story is in Malaysia. Get ready for Sona Mu. She's on her way. I'd like to show the last six months of Gulfstream data for those who think it has stopped. It has not, although it has changed significantly. I've got links to the archives, pics, and animations for you below the video. Moving to space weather, the bar toll shows cosmic rays holding steady. Looking at the solar wind, the speed in yellow was also holding relatively steady as the density in orange began rising at the 0 hundred hour UTC mark to start the new day. Nice to see the induction magnetometer perfectly responsive to that solar wind. Very minor induction. Looking at our star, the sunspot number in the 180s makes this as peppered as we've been this entire solar cycle, yet still without a lot of flaring. When I saw Earth passing between Ceres and Venus, I called a small quake watch. Wouldn't have expected the 7.7 .7, though, except my boy Mark called me out on ignoring Pluto conjoining Mercury at that time. Multiple planetary harmonics plus the coronal holes and it was my fault for not calling the full watch. We are just days away from our next heliocentric opposition, Mercury and Ceres, the dwarf planet. Taking away the top line that is passed on the list, I do have this charted out for most of 2013 and the next set of significant alignments is later in January. On the Lasco C3, you can already see Mercury swinging in. So we have a ton of sunspots, very overdue for flaring. CME impact and coronal hole stream set for next week and more dark coronal holes facing the earth today. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.